was. And it was just like every time I would walk, it was like, oh, no, 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 just hold on. It was so bad. I was like, and of course, I have like, you know, green jeans on. So like, oh, yeah. it's like you can start to see it. I'm like, oh, it's inside of him. And I'm like, hold me close here, tiny bladder. <laughs> First of all, let's back it up to when you chose to wear green jeans. Yeah, I know. Oh. They were pretty sweet. <laughs> It's Tuesday, and I'm Uncle Timmy Bounce Back, the name dropper. We've got so much to talk about today. I'm with CJ Marinin and Marco Del Vecchio. I want to thank State Social House, Chad, LJ, Cat, uh, 24 Carat, and Athletic Greens. Now, we are in Hollywood. This is Sunset Strip. It's the rule to name drop in Hollywood. It's tough. There's no formula for it. But if you say, hey, I'm an actor, I'm a comedian. Oh, really, are you? But I know Leonardo DiCaprio. Actually, Steve will do it or Selena. You name drop and it actually propels you. So I'm going to take it over to these guys right now, Marco and CJ. They're both in stand-up comedy. They're both in acting. Uh, we'll start with you, Marco. Tell me a little bit about yourself, and then we're going to get to you, CJ. Marco, oh, okay, okay. Good. Full Italian from Providence, Rhode Island. So watch it back. Wow. Uh, no. <laughs> so I used to play football, and then uh, my senior year at prep school, I went to a Tabor Academy. Shout out Massachusetts. And I did Legally Blonde the musical, and I fell in love with acting and dancing. I just felt it was my calling. And I was like trying for that Division I A scholarship, never got it. So I was like, you know what? Fuck these recruiters, fuck these colleges. I'm gonna go to LA. My dad didn't like it. He was like, son, you really wanna go out there and be a fairy? And I was like, no. What? Hey, hey, oh, hey, <laughs> not my words. So I was like, yeah, it's, it comes really easy. I was, uh, was, I was a UPS guy in Legally Blonde the Musical, so I go on stage, I've got a package, which I don't, it's small. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, and then I came out here and went to Cal Arts, and it was all like artsy fartsy, become the tree bullshit up there, which I'm not, that's not my cup of tea <laughs> when it comes to acting. So I moved to West Hollywood about seven years ago, ironically enough, and I started booking commercials, a few music videos, and been working ever since. So uh, yeah, fuck you, Dad. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was that was pretty awkward. That's the oh, intro. Man, my nipples are hot. <laughs> just cutting glass. Cut it up. That's the trailer. Yeah. Right I there. love my dad, by the way. Just get uh, out there. I, I met him and your mom over the weekend. You have FaceTime. FaceTime. All right. Hell so it? is there? There's a coincidence. Uh, CJ, where are you from? Rhode Island, baby. We what? uh we actually went to high school together. Um, yep. all boys Catholic high school. What? So. That's Wait, drop the name. I have to know what it is. Father um, Pat. Bishop Hendrickson. Father <laughs> Pat. is what? Me, Colin, me, uh, me, Marco, and Father Pat. That was our first three songs. Right? That's our real? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, we are off. <laughs> we're off and running. We're off. We're off. So, we're yeah. canceled every week. Same oh, yeah. thing. Every week. <laughs> canceled every week. I know. Sorry. I, I can leave now. So no, 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 we no. We can end this now. You guys are doing all the heavy labor today. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so he was, uh, I mean, growing up in Rhode Island, there's, you don't think of a career in acting or anything like that. So he was out here doing it first. I reached out to him. We weren't even that close in high school, honestly. Uh, he, I told are you going to tell the story? I, oh, the same, yeah, yeah. same class or same one? class, same homeroom. Same home room. Oh my God. Yeah. Same home room. And I used to, uh, I used to drive to school every day with uh, a kid who found himself in rehab later. Which <laughs> adds up because, uh, I'd come in every day just smelling like weed. And one day Marco. Listen, uh, listen, I am a truthful person, especially when I want to make good with the dean. I want to make good with my football coaches. I was school captain, commander of the freshman football team. So uh, I went He was up, a freshman. I went, he was I went a freshman. Up to the, I went up to our homeroom teacher one morning. It was like third day in. And I was like, does anyone else smell straight ganj? <laughs> So a total narc, and you think you, 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 like th this. you think that the friendship yeah, would uh, end there, there, which it did. But uh, <laughs> but he was he was out here, you know, he was out here doing his thing, acting, and uh, that's what I wanted to do. And reached out, came out, and we both are now uh, acting. You know, I do stand up; he does it as well here and there. And yeah. uh, you know, it's been it's been great. But um, the only roles that I go off for, I can only speak for myself, are 
really anything with the character name Chad, Brad, <laughs> Thad, any like douchebag boyfriend. That's my niche. Tyler, Tyler, yeah. oh, Tyler, 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 Tyler will get you. Frat guy number one through seven. I got the, I got those ones on lock. I feel like you guys compete for the same role a lot. Oh yeah, very. No, much. I'm no, more like ethnically naked, ambiguous like frat everything. guy number seven. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. I like I'm like a transfer frat roommates. guy. Yeah, I so, look. Yeah. Wait, no. The crazy thing is, so you're you, you're literally from the same high school. Yeah. yeah, and you got you both got out here alone. You didn't mm -hmm. come out together. No, and then you reconnected. Like, oh man, you're trying to find people and all, and then yeah. you found each yeah. other. Well, Timmy, to be completely honest, he hit me up and was like, "Hey, I see you doing your shit out there, this and that." And I was like, "Up, oh, here comes another one." You know, trying to ride the coattails of this young <laughs> successful artist. Uh, and I was like, "I'm gonna take a chance on him because he was funny in high school." You know. He like hung out with like the wrong crowd, but he was funny and I saw a lot of potential. Ba so, yeah. so I invited At least I'm him. I'm not getting roasted. <laughs> so I invited him to stay with me for the for a summer. And I'm telling you, we watched Entourage. He introduced me to it. And it was the best thing ever. I finally I felt like I finally had a best friend out here. Yeah, that's awesome. That was you know good. What I'm saying? And I reached out and I was like, hey, bud, I saw your erectile dysfunction commercial. I think you're doing big <laughs> things. I want to come out there. I want to do it too. So, well, uh, I had a Nicorette commercial. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was taking away the cravings. Uh, and then, yeah, so we, then we have them moving in together. Now we're roommates and such. And uh, yeah, it's, things are going well. All right. So now you guys reconnect. You're out here yep. and you're successful. Like, I mean, surviving out here is not easy. It's not it's real life Hollywood actor. Yeah, it's very difficult, right? Yeah. And it's a grind. So with name drop, like I had a lot of help from a lot of people in the industry and it like who kind of helped you get to the next level or validated you. And for, for lack of a better uh, example, it's like the blue check mark on Instagram. Like, oh, wow, he's got the blue check mark. Absolutely. So, uh, I'd like to say myself or CJ, but CJ has an even better story for you uh, with an actual name drop. So if you want to take this one away. Yeah, so I was, uh, I started doing stand up uh, on and off in college a little bit, been doing it about like seven years, and then uh, was doing it out here, but it's tough. It's tough to get spots. It's not like New York, where New York, you can kind of go and get multiple spots a night here. You're driving to different clubs. It's hard to get in. And um, I was kind of doing that grind for a while. And then Caroline Ray, uh, you know her from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. She had her own late night talk show. Um, she's the voice of the mom on Phineas and Ferb. Huge star. She saw me uh, She saw me at the Chateau, um, which is a great club out here. And basically was like, I love what you do. She saw some TikTok, TikToks that I did online and, and she took me on the road. So now I open for her on the road. Uh, we got some shows coming up in Atlanta this weekend, Friday and Saturday at the Punchline, if you guys are around. Oh, and, baby, uh, great club. And yeah, so she <laughs> she has completely given me that check mark, check mark. And like you said, name drop, it's so much of it is you do need that like that bump, that help, that someone who's been there, who sees what you're doing. I mean, I'm out here grinding for catering jobs, you know, uh, doing bartending, all these kinds of things. And she uh, she kind of saw that grind and and took me under her wing. And, and uh, she's a mentor. And she's a huge mentor. And she's incredibly talented at uh, at, at stand-up. And it's just like, as a stand-up, your, your main goal is to like close the gap between who you are in real life and who you are on stage. And I'm still trying to close that gap. And her, when she goes up, I mean, she is the epitome of that. She is a... Uh, a master at her craft and it's i've been i've learned so much from watching her so yeah that's killer man. what's wild is like that doesn't happen i mean you've talked about how it doesn't you thought you were gonna go to vaughn's and like get discovered by spielberg you like, just that eat, you just eating deli meats <laughs> yeah. at vaughn's just hoping for fucking spielberg to just come in and Steve, hey, hey, Steve. Oh, that's Santa Claus. Stevie, <laughs> Stevie, no, that's just my butcher. But, but it can, but see, it can happen. happen. But that is, but, but that is so much the truth. Cause like I got this catering job, which they do a lot of like industry events. And I was like, this is great. I'm going to meet, you know, Spielberg. I'm going to meet all these people. And you end up just like no. tray passing, like, uh, you know, sushi hors d'oeuvres and walking up to a group of people. You're like, Oh, sushi. And they're like, <laughs> cheese they, block. They don't even, they don't even say no. They just look Cracker, at you. Just cheese block. They just look at you. They go, Hmm. And you're like, all right, I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> you know, right. times though, I have been on a catering job as well, and the, all the guests are wondering, you know, this isn't like a boast or anything. Like, why are these caterers so good looking? What? Because because we're wanna be actors. No, well, exactly, exactly. Are... exactly. Everyone's a wanna be model or actor and stuff, and everyone's like, and it's free has food. the same agency. Free you get food. fed, and you free walk food. around for the potential, yeah, and for the opportunity to potentially meet someone to give you an advantage. Not like desperately looking for it, but 
it happened to him and there's so much to say about him because it came to him because he's genuine he wasn't looking for it necessarily and he is just a charismatic guy that wants nothing from anyone and i'm so glad it happened to him Aww. with you caroline but, but i uh, need you oh, to cut sweet. that up and send that to my mom that, real quick. That that's so fantastic sweet. happy holidays um <laughs> the thing about the catering is my my brother and i came out here to be in a rock band and I had a job. I did not know that. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that either. You guys know that he sings? Oh, what's good? Wait, oh wait. you uh, sing? We don't oh, sing. the jams. We don't sing or play instruments, but we wanted to be a rock Oh, my band. God. He... But on Thanksgiving, we danced. <laughs> <laughs> we all danced. Absolutely. Wait, so we, you actually sing? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I mean, yeah, I did. I had six records out. It was a good run. I'm happy. But we're going to get to that about the industry because I want to talk. I want to get right. bang you down on these uh, what's happening because it's more of a change for me than it is for you. Sure. So, mm -hmm. um, but I have an incredible name drop story because you guys just it triggered me. Uh, there was a bar called the Continental and I'm not, I am not bashing Ben Affleck at all when I tell this story. Good. Like, okay. Goodwill so hunting. When, when, yeah, yeah. When yeah, I first. Yeah, you East Coasters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't, so you ask, don't you fucking do No, that. no. I, listen. It's Anyways, okay. my best friend's Ben Affleck. Yeah. So there I was with Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Jennifer. I'm so, a Jennifer from Boston. I'm really good at math. Th this is awful. Oh, there's Bob Stevenson. Hey! Stop going! Hey! Hey! Get that mic. Get that hot mic, Come man. We just got people hot popping mic, in. Dude. Mic. Get oh, in here. Oh, oh, wait, yes. You're over there, dude. We have, a, we have one mic for you over there, guy. Come on, you're the voice of reason this episode. Dibs on oh, him Bobby. sitting in between us. This is the perfect us. time for him to come in. Yeah, of course. It's like perfect time. Dude, guy, way Did to go you USA. Way Bobby. to go USA. Oh, we, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta get well, him on. Like, Barney's watching that, Bob. How, how, how was the oh, fucking no, atmosphere? How Should was the atmosphere? Well, we got oh, okay. I was prepping for this, sorry. Should we get we, Bobby there or no? You wanna sit here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna sit here? We gotta get him on camera because everyone's gonna know him. Go on. Oh. Here, go on. You yeah, sure this one. Got a nice, got a nice touch beer for you. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Come no, you got to bring that mic. Come on. We're going to we're going to duo this mic. We got okay, it. Okay, cool beans. That's a cool beer. So, the Continental was like the hottest bar and who produced it? it was Matt Damon, it was Robin Williams, Ben Affleck, and is it Chris Moore? Was that the producer? I think for, what? For Good Will Hunting? Hunting? For Goodwill Hunting. Oh, I don't know. I just think it was Chris Moore. Yeah. So, I worked for the Continental. Wait for it driving a limousine this is way before ubers and all that. not not it was chris moore i just lied about that it was christopher somebody yeah, well, it was, it was christopher it, it was chris, chris i think it was christopher nolan it, it was christopher guest no, no god no. damn it no it was christopher moore it was chris moore um so uh, by the way i'm on the production company i know that oh yeah i don't know if he did good well honey. we're gonna find out but i am not a licensed limo driver there was a guy i don't think you're licensed in general uh, <laughs> i'm uncertified yeah so I'm driving this limo around for these people, not drinking, because I can't drink and drink. I can't, you know. Because they frown at going to. Yeah, I mean, I got to get paid. So <laughs> this guy, Butler, Mike Butler, Penn, go Penn State. He was kind enough to hire me. He's like, dude, you got to drive people back and forth. And I got it because he had a hot club. So he goes, dude, you're driving Ben Affleck home. And Ben had just gotten broken up with Gwyneth Paltrow. And if you guys oh, ever yeah. seen me it, it, like really drunk, Yes. Multiply that by a thousand, and he was gutted. I actually, my I, my heart bled for the guy because oh, I think so. he really loved her, and he, some success is cooking. So, dude, I'm driving into the Hollywood Hills very badly. Very <laughs> bad. I don't know where I'm going. You're, you drive badly, not drunk. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but your forte. But wait, this is this is the. There was a book I used to have to read called the uh, something guide. Uh, because this is pre, this is pre your phone tells you where to go. Were you reading this what book while you were driving? What was that book that gave you Max? Thompson, Thompson, Thompson guy. Thompson, Thompson, Thompson guy. Yeah. So there I am driving with Thomas guy, and I think he's talking to her on a cellular phone, which at the time out here was like hot stuff. Yeah. But my driving is so bad that I hear the bottles of beer <laughs> no way. sloshing around. No way. And I get to this house in the middle of nowhere, and I'm thinking. This guy is going to think I'm so cool <laughs> and he is going to tip me a bundle. <laughs> he might invite me in. He might invite. So he gets out and he goes, hey, man, thanks so much. Oh, no. oh, he does the pat down. No, he did the pat down. And I knew that he tried and he went, dude, I am so sorry. So what I got from driving him home 
was a cool wave. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that's, but, hey, that, hey, that's priceless. That's yeah. that's you got priceless. a tip of the cat. I got a tip of the cat. <laughs> <laughs> right. so, Sped down fucking whatever. I don't even remember what the roads were at that time. <laughs> Plus, he's in the back and I'm driving. I got the time of sky. <laughs> I bet they're the same roads. Yeah. He's I like, think they're probably the same roads. <laughs> he's like, listen, I could tip you, but how about I just sign one of your empty beer cans? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever have like a running list of celebrities that were assholes to you while you were catering? Like, oh boy. Hey, I'm going to remember you. You better not. Name well, drop. I mean, name it's drop. a negative name drop. I, well, I don't you like might... negative name drops because yeah. I don't know if I'm going to meet them someday. That's exactly. True. No, but exactly. you know when you're heading oh, there, like, baby, you are a, a dick. A like, I'm going to. There's a few. No, you know we're what? Not share. What I've found, because I, I, I've done it the four and a half years I've been out here, I've been doing the catering, and it's always been at these kind of high end events. And what I've found is it's always. It's always the guest of the big name. Mm -hmm. Always. Who's, who's the asshole? The agent, the, the manager, yes, the agent, and the, the manager. Or the, like the friend of the celebrity. The, pl the plus one of the celebrity. <laughs> like they don't have any <laughs> importance, <laughs> but they, they, they God forbid, there's too much spicy on the spicy so, June roll. So this, this, this is, this is a, this like, is a- Get the fuck out of here. This is a nice, this is a nice name drop. One of the first gigs that I did, I, of course I lied on my resume. I put Marco down as my reference. And I said that I was a bartender for like four years or something in, in uh, my Wrong college number. town. And I go to this catering company and like we said, solely they hire off of looks. I walked in waiting to have like interviewed, like I measure, I like memorized like drink recipes. And she just looks at me, she goes, do you stay clean shaven? I go, yeah, she goes, you're hired. <laughs> and my first job, my first job, it, it was on an app and it says celebrity birthday party. I was like, this is awesome, whatever. I show up an hour before it starts, they update it and it goes Leonardo DiCaprio's birthday party. Wow. And name I had down, drop. I had, that's a it's big, a big name drop. I think, I think big... Jonah was there. Jonah, <laughs> the Jonas brothers were not there. But no, was, no. Jonah's oh, kitchen was there. Yes. Oh yeah, no, this, he was, this guy, he was right there. I mean, I'm telling you like- He's up on the line over here. I'm telling you that the, 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 uh, the party started at nine and is at like this place in Beverly Hills at 8.55 the elevator dings and about 20 Victoria's Secret models walk oh, out yeah. and fill the room. It was insane. But I don't know how to bartend. And I had this I had this app downloaded on my phone where previously if people would be like, can I get a mojito? I'd be like, oh, yeah, let me make sure I have that. And then I would crouch below the bar, look it up <laughs> and then I'd pop up and I'd make it real quick. But we had to sign non disclosures and we had to give our phones away. So, <laughs> oh, oh, no. So middle of the night, Jennifer Anderson. Oh boy. Walks up to the bar, asks for two skinny margaritas. And what I've noticed is that a lot of these like celebrities, like these big, you know, these big names, they don't drink. So yeah. in my head, I go, what's a skinny margarita? A skinny margarita is probably everything in a margarita besides <laughs> alcohol. So I did just the sugary mix. I did everything. <laughs> the, opposite. the complete opposite, yeah. which for anyone so that doesn't know, of a skinny margarita is literally Giant just margarita. tequila and like, and lime juice. I give her everything soda. but the tequila. I hand them to her with a big smile. I'm like, she takes them, walks <laughs> back to her friends. They cheers, sip. They both just go, Ugh. Oh. this disgusting face. She walks back. She puts them on the bar. She goes, you know what? I think we're actually good. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I, my heart just dropped. I was Wait, like, who is this Jennifer Afghanistan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she should be nicer to my boy CJ. I love what you've done overseas. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, yeah. I was like, I thought we were on a break. But she's nice, right? Like, she was oh, like, oh, so nice. Okay. She so didn't nice. Say, like, yeah, no, 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 no. You know what? She it, was like know, trying to right. make, right. she was yeah. trying to make me feel bad. She was like, look, I know you suck at your job. Yeah. She was like, but we're just going to, we're going to act like this didn't happen. Yeah, we're gonna, I was like, I was like fantastic. Happened. I was like, hey. This margarita never fucking happened. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking well, of nice ass celebrities and such, this is the World Cup. And, uh, we were down in Barney's Beanery. You know who was there? It was Gerard Butler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I went, I went up to him outside because I had That's a little That's a name buzz. drop. Whenever I get a little buzz. But he's sober right now. I, I think he's sober now. I, I don't know what he was, but yeah, I was definitely not. So <laughs> On I went Saturday? Up, I, I don't know. It was like last week. And I went to him. I was like, hey, big fan of your work. And I thought the guy next to him was Jason Statham because it was a bald white dude. And I thought, Makes they, sense. I thought they hang out. That adds up. So I was like, I love both of yours works. And uh, the guy on the right, the ball, he's like, I'm not that guy, pal. <laughs> <laughs> so it made Gerard laugh, but they were good. He's like, cool. I, s I sell space heaters. What are you talking about? <laughs> but they were nice about it. And uh, I can't say enough about Gerard. And now I'm on a first name basis with him. Oh, yeah. Name drops. Yeah. 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 He's the best. All right, but Bobby, since I'll go on, sorry. I want to know what Bob's origin, because you just told us yours about Continental. I haven't really heard much about this guy coming out. Like, what's your origin story about acting and such? Uh, well, I'm Bob let's hear it. everybody get a drink. <laughs> I'm Bob Stevenson. Time for some beer. Hey. <laughs> um, 
So I ca- I can I came here. Uh, my friend got me a PA job right out of college, and so I was a that was my film school. I was a PA for five years during the propaganda film days, and I PA'd on every David Fincher music video and commercial I could work on because I just wanted to be around that. And then Michael Bay, Spike Jones, and then I started like I was writing. I was I I, uh, I realized like like first year I was PAing, I was uh, on a set. And there was all this, you know, stuff going on in the music video. And, and then I step in and go, yeah, but wouldn't it be cool if this happened? And like literally oh, everyone no. turns around and goes no. like, what? And who the fuck are you? <laughs> like, uh, okay, so it's not like a group. That, it's not like we all just, <laughs> we're not a collaborative. We don't, it's not, we don't, okay, we don't just, oh, you just, just throw ideas. Okay, so, yeah, you I know what? I cool, totally got it. I got Anybody want coffee? The can. Coffee? In the can. Anyone? Yeah, you need a director's chair? I got you, man. I got you. <laughs> so then I was like, okay, you know what? If I, the one thing you're allowed to do that nobody can tell you you can't is write. Because mm-hmm. I, you know, so I got an Apple credit card. I bought my first little Macintosh. And I was like, I can just sit home and write. And no one can say, you know, no, yes, no. Like directing you need, acting you need, you know. So I started doing that. Then some of these directors, I would, you know, talk to them about writing and stuff. And so, uh, there was this uh, Nigel Dick is this director who did all the Guns N' Roses videos. Like we would, we worked on. I mean, you name a music video in the '90s, and I fucking worked on that. And Nirvana, every and he. So he goes one time. He did so many videos that he asked people around propaganda, "If do you have any ideas? Because I have this new Guns N' Roses thing. I don't want." And so I wrote uh, like a page and a half treatment, and I put it under his door. And I didn't put my name on it or anything, but that's the video. video that's no, way. no way. What one? Yeah. What one? Was, like, Which music video? It was, uh, city. Welcome yeah, to the city. It's the really slow one where they're in like the hotel room and it's like. Uh, oh November rain? No. And you never got tra- credit for it? No. Which is fine. I, I really honestly, I was just like, oh, if I, if I put my name on it, maybe I won't get, you know, he sure. won't do it or whatever. Uh, and then and then he found that I, that I did it. And then, uh, so then people started having me write for music videos and stuff. So, that, and then I wrote, for David Fincher, I helped him write uh, Michael Jackson uh, treatment, and oh then it God. blew up after that. It was Jeez. like so. Fin- years, Fincher's like, kind of your guy. That, is Fincher the guy that got you in? Like he put well, you to the next level. He's my conduit for sure. I mean, because okay. everyone loved him so much, you know. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and I learned so much from him. I would just stand next to the camera and listen to what he said and everything. So then I started writing for, and then all of a sudden I was like the only guy like Spike Jones. I wrote all of Spike's like commercial treatments and stuff, That's trying crazy. to help them get That's jobs. Awesome. Bob. That was kind of my thing. I was like writing all these different things. I wouldn't write his music video stuff. Just, just in your good. underwear on your Mac. And yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> just, and my Apple credit card is like still $4,000 <laughs> <laughs> and like, I can't pay like, it. I'm like, like God, you're five dude. months behind. Yeah. You're not putting your name on anything. Yeah. No, <laughs> he's the best guy to even get to right now because we're gonna, we're gonna uh, turn it to the industry and I don't know if it's COVID or non-union jobs or what, but the industry is definitely changing. And he knows more about SAG than anybody. So I was talking to these guys earlier, like I know the world, like you know the world commercially and it and it's changed a lot. And I think it's changed a lot because the youth of today is not watching television. Mm-hmm. And I also think that the Instagram social media aspect is allowing celebrities that are already famous to say, I just got to put my brand on as many things as I can because I've been watching the world cup and I was been watching Mm -hmm. football and it is famous athletes and celebrities. And those were commercial actor jobs before they were jobs that we would get. Well, we were just, we just actually, we just had a a big, uh, uh, SAG meeting yesterday commercial. We were talking about cameo because business camp, because there's Mm -hmm. cameo business, which I didn't even know about. So they were telling us, yeah. So they were like, you know, so, so businesses, will basically go up to like big celebrities. I mean, you name them. And it's like, oh, what is it? It's a, uh, oh, I'm charging $15,000. It'll be 30,000 if you want a live thing or 15, if you want me to record something for your whatever, or if you want me to do it, it's almost a commercial kind of a thing. Is it union or not? No, no I worked no, for the competitor. This is, why we're, this is why we're talking. This is what I did. This is why we're talking about it now because yeah. it's, uh, it's just one of those things where you're like, you know, I mean, look, the thing is, a lot of people, their misconception is that SAG is trying to get a piece and it's like hurting me making money. But the reality is SAG's trying to get you health and pension and it's and, and work. And it's and, and it, if you, you know, because you are by yourself, a lot of people, you're going to get beat up if you don't have protections. Like we're all independent contractors. So if you we're, we're just trying to get 
money into the program so that you get money back. Otherwise, the program's not going to be able to exist. Well, yeah, it's not from function. my understanding, too, the issue with that is that they're cutting out the middleman. They're cutting out like a manager and agent situation yeah, yeah. so that that then they're like, hey, we'll give you this straight and yeah. then you don't have to take this. Yeah. Cut and now the, but now the that, agents are starting to claw. Their they're way really in. pissed. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. They're really they're pissed. Like, Wait a second, you're making thirty five thousand no, dollars like on this and I'm not yes. getting 10 percent. Yeah. So yep. what's your opinion yep. on the agents trying to claw their way in? Are you like. I mean, but, everyone wants to make it, get a piece. I get it. You know, I'm I'm not saying it's like they shouldn't, but if your if your 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 name is kind of getting, that's a very personal thing because like you're yeah. you're you could say that about anything. Like if you're a big enough name, right? They and you get doing it, and you're getting anymore. offered stuff directly, and you say, "Oh, I see. I didn't need you anyway. I'm getting it because of me." But it's like, yeah, but what the agent's doing is taking 10% to make sure that you're protected and that right. you know, the right things yeah. are in the contract and that you don't have to read the content. You don't have to worry about the content. So, uh, you know, personally, I would always have somebody represent me because I think it would be better, Same but there. I get what they're saying. Yeah. You know, I totally get what, you know, some celebrities, you know, a lot of these celebrities too, are like they're on in years. So they're not really working that much. And maybe mm -hmm. this is one of their only incomes they have, you know, like yeah. they were killer, like, you know, 15, 20 years ago yeah. and they don't have anything on TV or yeah. movie or something They're like, whoa, I, but I can get 10 grand to like, you know, yeah. go live in front of some like business community and blah, 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 whatever, mm -hmm. you know? So I, I want to, I want to get you, I want to get your take on um, like the whole like union, non-union and where it's gone, like where we're at today, because it's almost like a supply and demand issue because of these, like these websites, like LA casting and actors access, these brands will, basically put out these roles and it's a fraction of the price that you would get previously when yeah. like for commercial like there's stories of like vince vaughn he had a commercial that got him out to la where you just see like three seconds of his face but he's in it and he made 40 grand yeah. something like that yeah, yeah. and now it's like they're doing this thing where it's like they're buying past the union and they're doing non-union and they're like here we'll pay you a thousand dollars to be the full face of this and we have full rights for like a year. Yeah. And it's just like it's, it's not sustainable. You book it right. and like no. you want to be like, hey, like I, you know, I should be paid X amount of dollars. And they they can kind of clap back and be like, well, you know, we had a thousand people submit. We'll for this. find someone else. So right. and it's, it's like you said, supply and demand. We're oversaturated out here. We are. And some people want to do it just to be seen. Yes. Like yeah. I want to do it to just get fucking paid. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I think, I think so much. That's like, the problem is like, now we have like, we, you know, we did a thing with, uh, um, casting networks and we, we, we did a panel and we had people on the end, uh, the, and we were trying to let SAG understand kind of like the predicament. Cause it's kind of, it's like the Titanic trying to get them to like move now. Now they're, you know, much quicker getting in it. But right. So we're trying to let them kind of understand what's happening. And, um, the guy was like, how many people do you have in SAG? And they said, well, nationwide, we have about 180,000. He goes, great. I have a 500,000 just in Los Angeles. So yeah. Right. Oh, my. Like, you got that's, kidding. I mean, that's what, so basically there's 60,000 roughly SAG members in LA. I mean, you're up against a half a million people, exactly. you know? So yeah. it, it's, that's the sad part is like, and so there's too many people that are just willing to take it for nothing. Right. And like, you yeah. know, and, right. and I know you want to get your face on camera, but you know, some of these deals are like, some of them are in perpetuity, meaning for yes. life. You know, yes. some of them are like, oh, yes. we can run this whenever we want. So many what's times the solution? That was, that was a problem. Uh, if right? you were Ask get again, what is the solution? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, once you get a name, then yeah. you're like, Whoop, now we got this guy who's a big name on Forever. a TV show, we can run this. Well, that, that, happened, yeah. to, that happened to our buddy who's, uh, he, he's, I don't want to name his name. I don't know if he's happy with it, but he was out here grinding like the rest of us. And then, yeah. you know, he booked a big show and he's now doing very successful, but he did a commercial uh, same thing for like, you know, dirt money, but it was in perpetuity forever. And they ran it for like two years when he first did it. And then all of a sudden he blew up and he got this huge following oh, and then they started rerunning his commercial. Wait a yeah. second. Is it Tom Cruise? That's it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. God. You got him. You got him. Tom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He got me. Uh, but yeah, it's so. But well, you know, well, the other thing that you mentioned earlier with Carolyn Ray is like, you know, she's, she saw your stand up yeah. and then you sent her some TikTok videos that she liked. Yeah. And it got you to the next level. Like I didn't I don't I don't even know how to operate really Instagram effectively. And unfortunately that that goes to like it's a detriment to like everyone like there's so many talented people out there and the way especially after the pandemic the way that um our industry works is now it's like 
everything is a self tape. Before you got a chance to go in. Oh, you don't get started. started. Do not self tape. Don't get started. That's what I'm saying. But you got a chance. Thou to... shall not self tape. <laughs> you got a. You had a chance. You had a chance to go in. You had a chance to show them your personality. Show them who you are. Now it's like you're competing in a self tape world where it's like if you're not, you know. Uh, able to kind of, if you don't have the equipment to shoot yourself, if you don't have the lighting. <laughs> Me too. Bring I, up. Yeah. ASMR. I'm listening. CJ, go ahead. Don't even worry. Uh, don't lose you your don't, thought. No, no, no. I'm, I'm drawing in. If you don't have the lighting, if you don't know how to edit, like you're already at a disadvantage. But what I love is what I kind of did with TikTok and what Bob was talking about is writing is taking control and, and grabbing a hold of your career and being like, okay, like, what can I do that's going to put me in the best situation? Yes. Bob did that with writing. And then that all grew up like with TikTok, same thing. It was like, all right, Taking I just want to, I want to show people what I can do. Well, and I'm going to, I'm going to do it through this way. And SAG, uh, we just did uh, pass the um, uh, influencer uh, agreement. So like influencers now can uh, get health and pension, you know? Oh, so, really? Yeah. It's yeah. So that's so Mennery like, yeah, did it. Mennery signed it. He's in yeah. 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 There's a lot of, it's like, and you get a, you actually kind of get a better deal than like the regular SAG because um, you get to kind of decide what the percentage is and how it works. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, Bob, what do you, thing. how do you feel about, you know, some of these like overnight, I don't want to say overnight success. I don't want to, you know, discredit anyone, but for example, you know, Addison Ray. Got all these I was going to say her name. I can't I know. believe you said it. I I'm saying it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but she, but then she gets, she gets the lead in this, you know, reboot of, uh, and her hosting all I think on about. the UFC. Yeah. That was and a it's like, huge and it, deal. And it, but it's like, it's a lot of, um, we got a man down. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, uh -oh. they heard you say her yeah. name. Addison <laughs> Reyes. They're, pissed. they're coming to give, they're, <laughs> they're coming to give Timmy an IV. Uh, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's ever changing. And the fact that like, they're just getting these opportunities so early and so often, and it, it can be, you know, it can be, I think, I think, I mean, I think where you're going is, yes. is, uh, I'm pissed. I hate it. I old hate actor it. Jackie Gleason said, if they're going to pay you, take the money. And that's the thing. True. It's like, it's going to come up to the studios where you're like, you're hiring this person. You're giving them the money. Great. She should take all that fucking money because like at a certain point, the studio is going to be like, why are we doing this just to get followers or why are we doing this for this? And it's like, that's not the, it's like, I'm not saying she's probably like an incredible actress. I have no idea. She's but incredibly you, beautiful. If she is just, great. If you're just, yes. me like it, I, 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 I did her with her once. I did a pilot. I did a pilot years Name ago. And they, no, uh, I did. Yeah, I, know. I did a pilot Catch years ago nice. and they did a, Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, whoa. whoa. Dude. We got big oh. shot. Whoa. That's what I need. It's like social house on the from Long Island. Yeah, this guy's amazing. Go Jets! Oh, oh by the way, shout out, hey, stay social house. Oh, on social sunset. House. Stay shout social house on him. sunset. Right I have to, flakes right up from my ass. I have to wear tight socks every time I come in here and knock some off, you know? <laughs> this is going to set me back carbs-wise, but I'm so in. Uh, Why is everybody on diets during the holidays? Now's the time it's to let yourself keto, go. Right? It's not cauliflower. Guys. Oh, I got a nice little bubble crust right here. I'm oh, about look at him. He, he, can't, he can't even let it sit. He's going right Oh, in. absolutely Yeah, not. but do you, I'm gonna do you have to think about Addison Ray, TikTok, and all that stuff? Yeah. What you said, Bob, too, if you can take the money i mean i told you i'm pissed because i'm always late to the game people have informed me hey this is the movement that's happening in entertainment get on board and i'm like fuck that dude i you know yeah. i'm gonna go to 200 south of brea but it's evaporated so that's why i'm doing this podcast we do yeah. one every week this is where i have to take control yeah instead of feeling sorry for myself and go See, oh exactly I do, I, and i want to get into that because whenever you said sorry to interrupt or let's finish your Let's finish your little interceptor here first. Uh, first of all, wipe the cheese off your face. Um, <laughs> that's, not, hey, that's not cheese. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try. No, but, but it's back in my beard. Back, back to what, back to what you're saying. I'm, I'm the same way. Where it's like I, you know, anything new is always, it's always easier to like discredit it and push it away. And it was the same thing with Vine, man. Vine was like a thing, and I was like, ah, you know, I'm not making seven minute videos or seven second videos. And then you see where those creators went to. And now it's like a reincarnation of that with TikTok. Yeah. And again, you know, we push it away until it becomes the normal. And that's right. how Instagram, Snapchat, that's how all these things work. So it's just about like, re, you know, having a, having a pulse on like on the, uh, on the environment and what's going on and just trying to 
be a part. It and doesn't mean you have to. It's yeah. all moving so fast. Too, it does. Right? Like you said, like studios are hiring these people there. And I think they're figuring it out because it's like, oh, we just want to get. Because, oh, they have like, you know, 12 million followers. It's like, well, they might watch the movie, but then, like, what's the. Like, then they were like, that's. Eh, well, because they have work. box office like, problems. Oh, that's you know? the thing. But they look at it, yeah. they, they look at it like, which I get. It's like, I go in for an audition and I'm going against a kid who's got 3 million followers on TikTok. And it's like, they're like, all right, these guys both said the same lines, pretty similar. They're both kind of like plug and play, but this guy's got 3 million. Maybe right. we have, maybe we have a built-in audience, but that's not always the case. It is not. And, um, and that's, I think, I yeah. think, I think it's getting better now. I think it is too. I, I think, it, I think now they're realizing ever them, since like yes. some, some box office duds and some bad sure. things. I think they like, realize following doesn't equate to putting yes. asses in the seats. Yeah. However, right. with streaming nowadays, you don't have to put asses in the seats. You just have to get clicks on a fucking... Sure. Yeah, uh, I was saying earlier, service. I did a pilot and it was, they put this like supermodel in it. And I remember, I, I, I didn't know it at the time. So I went and I go into the producer's office and he's like, no, this is so great, man. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. We got so-and-so. This is going to be so big. I mean, that I was like, you got who? He's like, no, no, we got so-and-so. I was like, but has she acted before? It? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, yeah. Exactly. And I was yeah. like, and they were like, no, no, no. But I mean, she, she has like, you know, 12 million followers. We got wet huge. vagina and rabbit. I know. Yeah. 12 million followers. She's got 12 million OnlyFans. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. That's, I mean, I guess is that what we're doing? And it was like the worst pilot. It was like, it's, yeah, it didn't yeah. went go anywhere. Yeah. It didn't get picked up. And they spent like $12 million. On I think, I think what I, what I see it as is like the pendulum has swung so far one way that it's, it has to come back the other way. I'm and, hoping. And that's so much like. It's all being, you're right. I mean, it's all right. being shaked out. It's like, and I think like they, so, like, yeah, yeah everyone was what's jumping the quality, on that. What's not the quality. What's right. And it's like, the same thing with like, that's why, you know, podcasts and like, the, uh, this is completely taken out late night television. Think about it. Cause you watch late night television, you see one of your celebrity, like celebrities that you like go on there yeah. and you watch it nowadays. And you're like, this is so fake. Like yeah. everything is like, you, they know the question that's coming. Oh, it's the they have yeah. the answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's like cut and dry. Where before, when there was no other like social media or any kind of like uh, media in general, people believe that. But then you get that same celebrity on a podcast and they're just airing it out about what they did in exactly. well, high school. Let me give you the opposite of the pendulum of having followers. I have some followers, not like insane. Tim Bader, ladies and gentlemen. But name <laughs> name <laughs> drop, ladies and gentlemen. Timmy bounce Timmy back. back. But when Timmy, Timmy bounce back. backs up for three days in Vegas, like, all, se all, se all, se all <laughs> 700 of them. We're not hiring him. So I'm trying to learn yeah. my lesson because this thing's addictive too. But I think, I think honestly, like in today's day and age, it's like authenticity and being like unapologetically yourself is what is getting you through the noise. Where so many people are trying to like mimic that late night like yeah oh yeah you know oh, i you know i went and we adopted this dog and we you know all these nice stories but it's like no i want to hear like where you fucked up i, I want to hear did where you yell you... at someone in traffic yeah yes yeah. like i yeah. went to the dry cleaners to give my bathing suit and there was a shit stain and i said i'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> i'll be right back keep that ticket i'm never does that feel back. good is that, <laughs> is that gonna get me hired is that feel what? real there was a bacon strip in my fucking bathing suit I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what happens next <laughs> Casting directors, who's calling? I've been, <laughs> I've been canceled for fucking three Who years. Borrowed that bathing suit. Come on, what? That's not mine. No, no, I was because I know the guy. He fixes my clothes. Who's I'm like, hey, who are like, hey, What's wait. up? And I went, I'll be right back. <laughs> who gets their bathing suit dry clean? <laughs> let's, let's figure That's that out. Let's figure that out first. <laughs> it's a Gucci. Oh, oh okay. It's banana hammock. Yeah, yeah. I, was, <laughs> I was in a heavy Sickening. chlorine pool. Sickening. Up in the this weekend. Sickening. This is gonna be a tough. Yeah, it's yeah. sickening. Well, I also got ambushed oh because when in Vegas, Steve and Selena are like, we're going to the pool. And I'm like, great. So I put Let me just take a shit for it. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, I got a guy in LA. He'll get these out. Yeah. I'm willing to risk it. <laughs> I, I got this guy on salary. He's right on Santa Monica. He's great. <laughs> Get him back to you one day. But they took me to the oh UFC. They took me to the UFC uh, headquarters to watch. So, I, they, dude, everyone at the UFC headquarters was dressed dope. Like you're and the I, only guy in a baby. And flip flops. <laughs> I mean, fucking loser. <laughs> 
I'm can't not worried about the flip flops. I'm worried about the shit stains. Oh that yeah, feel on my body. Hey, hey, if I'm being perfectly honest, because now we're telling the truth, I hadn't shit till I got to the headquarters. <laughs> That's so it. I didn't have like the proper <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I, I heard okay. now Dana I heard, White's gonna kill yeah. us. Is there a reason why you were all going in? south? Dana going. White, you need to invest in two ply toilet paper <laughs> yeah. for Timmy. Well, it was a it was a you have like a wagon or whatever. You know, it's like a, a thing you have on a yeah. set. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. didn't have your poop a coach remote. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't dr- I was drinking a different I was drinking Modellos, it hit me the wrong way. <laughs> oh, that'll do it. That'll do it. So you're telling me that real story. Is more important than fake stuff on Saturday. Absolutely, because that's that's how you connect, man. That's it's like, true. It's like this general. That's true. And honestly, TikTok was a huge part of that, where it's like the people that did the best and are still doing the best on TikTok is when you're just like authentically yourself. Like yeah. those videos where it's like chaos and it's someone running through like their backyard and just talking to camera like you're when on your FaceTime. your girlfriend breaks up with your boyfriend, but your boyfriend slip her up. That was like, no. <laughs> yeah. I, wanna, I wanna hear about the shit of the drive. <laughs> it's just like, it's, it's like, you know, like, especially like this younger generation, these iPad kids are growing up on these videos of like these these creators that are like, like, let me tell you why five things why I think, that, you know what I mean? And yeah. it's like, it's just this weird kind cringy. of thing. It's so cringy. I think, I think, I think, our, I think the younger generations are so indated with so much content, so much media, so much like, let me sell you on me. Let me sell you on me. Where it's like someone gets on there and they're like, I just shit my pants at a UFC event. Okay. And you're like, I want to I want to learn more about this guy. Oh, don't worry. There's going to be there's going to be a, a spotlight shift right on the Bob Stevenson. <laughs> now, listen, oh, if no. I'm number two, he's number one. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. You pissed your pants. at a Oh, UFC event. oh, dude. Football game. Go, take it away. Oh, take it away, baby. Please take it away. Oh, please yeah. get closer. Uh, we uh, so I went, closer to me now. So, I know. It's just so good. I uh, I told Tim I go okay. So we're gonna I, t- I he Philly. I have Rams. Season first season we we're like, first we said we were not gonna. No, dr- I okay. So okay. I said okay. I go Philly's coming. You want to go to the game? He's like, and he doesn't like to go to games and stuff like that. Which I'm not big. I like to go because I have my own seats and then it's easy and whatever. So I go okay. I'm going to the because uh, I'm a, a name I'm a baby. And so I, I I'm like let's go to the Philly game. He's like okay, but we gotta be good. We gotta be good. We're not gonna drink before the game. We're gonna wait. <laughs> We're going to hang out and then we're going to like, I'll meet you at your house and then we'll take a Uber. We'll get down to the game. This is when they were at the Coliseum, not so far. And then uh, what time was the game? The game was like one. No, I promise you it wasn't. It was 520. <laughs> it was 520. Oh, was, was it? Oh, no, oh, no, no. A hundred percent. Because no, when we left in the was third. It a Sunday night game? It was Sorry, a Sunday night, night I thought game. it was a Sunday. It was Coliseum, Eagles, Rams. Oh, my God. So, you okay. Well, that makes it better. Because, five, I'll tell no, you no, it makes it better. Because we I, had I, the I promise. I forgot that. So, he goes, he goes, we wake up in the morning, and I'm like, dude, you ready for the game? I'm pumped. I feel like going to Barney's. I'll see you there. Boop. That was like at 10, <laughs> 10 a.m. We started Bean. And we're, <laughs> we go to Bean. We're watching football, and we're drinking. Like, we said we were going to be good, and we, like, we drink all the, And then we get it. Drank uh, in the Uber. We get it. SUV. 12 pack in the SUV, drinking all the way down the Coliseum. And I have not gone to the bathroom once. And I'm like, I get out. And I'm like, yeah. And then we go, to, we like, we're just walking around all the tailgates and stuff. We're like, yeah, man, what's up? And they're giving us beers. <laughs> and I'm like, I got to pee. Hold, please. <laughs> hold, please. We get out of the SUV. SVU, S- SUV. And <laughs> I love SVU, Margaret Harrigan, whatever her name is. She's so hot to this day. I love her. SVU, it's a different TV it. show. And yeah, it's a different movie, right? So we get out, and there's a minor line for what, oh, what do I they call those? Porta potties. I thought you were going to say there's a minor there. No, so uh, there's a minor there. And I go, she dude, I go, dude, I go, I, I got to take a piss. I'm going to wait in line. He goes, dude, I got to go, like, meet the people and your buddy Joe was like a sweetheart that day. Yeah, my so I my take buddy. a fucking mega <laughs> slash. I mean, <laughs> just cutting through the air. I feel five pounds lighter. One of those, one of those double arms. Double <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Just like, ooh. Just like, oh, CJ. Oh, it's like you're making noises. Uh, yeah. 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 So he goes, dude, come over here. Come over here. So we're hanging out. I need to be right I now. Be right I meet now. this group and they're like recognize you from something and they were like, got beers. And I go, damn, I'm in boom. We're like, beers and food. What's up? Blah, blah, blah. And then we're like, okay, we need to get into the game. I'm like, yeah, cool. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, I got to. 
pee real bad. And I was like, okay. And I go, I go, Tim, I'm, just, I'm gonna go over to the porta potties. And I walk over there. And I mean, dude, there, there must have been 50 people uh, in line for the porta potties. And and the worst part about that place was that there's very few porta potties. It's like 10. And I'm just like, oh boy. Oh boy. I start running around and walking around and trying to like figure, okay, I can go over here. I'm going to go, I'm just going to piss against the wall over here. And there's three cop cars. Oh, okay. I'm going to go over here. No, can't go over here. And I'm start walking all of a sudden. Oh, 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 oh. It's like, it's, and it's, it's never like, happened to me in my life. Like I'm pretty good at holding it, but like it was an old, an old hose. It, 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 it was, and it was just like, every time I would walk, it was like, oh no, oh no, no, just hold on. Oh, oh, oh. It was so bad. I was like, and of course I have like, you know, green jeans on. So like, oh, yeah. it's like, you can start to see it. I'm like, oh, shit, son of a bitch. And I'm like, hold me close here, tiny first bladder. All, <laughs> first of all, let's back it up to when you chose to wear green jeans. Yeah, I know. Oh. They were pretty sweet. No, no. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I have the pee right now. There's something about, no, there's something about the pee in there where it's just like, they're like, they're like Tim, I, I was, Tim, your friend Bob's uh, fucking awesome, but he's just standing there looking at us as he's like, I'm just like, oh, well, so once literally, he, once finally, he lets it go, well, yeah. I finally get in line and I'm sitting there. I'm just like, I'm just going to go wait in line. I'm just going to go wait in line. I'm still like, here we go. It's, Come on, it's, and it's like, at this point, it's like kind of like this big around. It's like oh. a thing. And I'm just like, there's no ah, better feeling fuck it, dude. Up. I like finally, I'm just like, I don't know. Oh, it feels anymore. good. And I was just like, Pre depends. Pre depends. <laughs> and then, uh, and, and I was like, ah, oh, I spilled beer. I spilled beer. In my Works for me. I had a beer and I spilled beer in my glass. And I, I like tied the thing around my way. Nobody said a thing all day. Nobody even noticed. Yeah. No. You sat in the Except for the, the rest of the, this podcast. Well, then, Camouflage well, pisser. Then we go to the game. And I swear to God, we walk in the game. And I, I know the people that have season seats next to me. And I'll say the next game, they were like, what happened? You guys were here for like one quarter and you fucking left. <laughs> Tell them where we went to. Oh, because you we, left. Right back to Barney's Beanery. <laughs> in your piss pants. Yeah, in my piss pants. Oh, yeah. And we were like, let's just go back to drinking bean. Like, yeah. like, like we were like out of there. Yeah. If you. Yeah, let's yeah. just go back to Barney. <laughs> like, like, Cam, we never stopped drinking. I pissed my pants. We've been here. We've seen a quarter. Let's go. <laughs> If you show up to Barney's without piss, pissing your pants, people are like, fucking oh, yeah. dude, like, that's a weekday. That's a weekday, man. Like that oh, long. my God. It's so Obviously, you don't want to leave us. I mean, we've hit a lot of stuff. <laughs> Where are we at? <laughs> All right. I mean, we, we can wrap it up. We got an hour. I mean, we hit everything. The business. I mean, you want to plug anything, Siege? You want to no, I think I already plug did. your show and everything? I mean, Bob, we lost you, Marco. You came in at, at Marco. Marco, yeah, Marco, got, went Marco got the shit. Can we, can we, can we, red, can, we red chili, can we zoom in on a pizza count on Marco? Yeah. I think he's up to and the red chili. <laughs> Look, no carbs. He's not eating the crust. All right, hold on, Marco. You close it out. You can talk about whatever you want. Oh, you got a movie coming out. Plug that movie. Oh, I do have a movie coming out. It's called The Line, starring John Malkovich. Angus Cloud, Feds from Euphoria, great show. Mm -hmm. uh, Denise Richards, Alex Wolf from Hereditary. Uh, it's coming out. I believe it's going to a certain film festival Ooh. next year. Can't say anything about that. But uh, yeah, the young supporting role, young cop. It's nice. going to be a good film. It's nice. called The Line. Good, congrats. It's about, uh, about uh, fraternities that go wrong. Uh, and uh, Amen. Well, I know about, well, you guys know about that. Yeah. <laughs> Bob, you got something cooking, don't you? You can't talk about it, though? No. <laughs> Is there a certain <laughs> is there a certain famous chick in it? Uh, oh yeah, I have a Jennifer Garner movie. I'm about to shoot next Ooh. week. Oh uh, wow, wow, warm it up. One Lone Star. Ah. Oh, uh, speaking uh, of that, who is the star? Uh, Rob Lowe. Rob Lowe. Mm -hmm. So greatest thing about Rob Lowe Great that head he's head. Said, nicest guy in the world, and just be beautiful. Like you know what I mean? This oh, guy's yeah. been beautiful yeah. forever. Talk about name drop. Like nicest guy in the world. Yeah, like, that's awesome. like fantastic. The, the nicest. But he said as soon. As this is how long ago he goes, as soon as there was a camera on a phone, it took away the power of fame because everybody's fame. Got he it. said that when cameras were on the phone, I'm like, no fucking way. But now the evolution of Vine yeah. and Instagram and yeah. TikTok and Reels, he saw that then. Don't, isn't it like, don't you, I mean, going back to talk, just talking about the phone in general. How come my porn video didn't get huge? Oh, <laughs> I, mean, I watched it. Dude. I watched it. The I angles it. were not great. Bobby, you yeah. did OnlyFans. All right, it was you know what? It was, it, was, it was Bob's only butthole fans. and it was, his balls. It was the filming, like, right? Well, I was holding the camera. You were great. I, did, I thought okay, I'll, I'll and she your, was great. 
I'll be your OnlyFans manager. Okay, thank you. Why hasn't a baking show came out saying only pans? It's just like I, I gotta get back bitch to cooking up streusel. I'm getting back to the porn video. The editing was horrible. It was. That's it. Yeah, like, no, I know. I actually, I, I, actually, I, tried, I, I tried, I tried to make a sex tape to break into the industry, uh, but she never showed up. So <laughs> it just turned into a sad it. documentary. <laughs> Copywriting it right now. <laughs> Let's try, uh, people. Documentary. I yeah. like that it's a documentary. Yeah. yeah, it was like a Blair Witch project. Of it's me a just masturbation video. <laughs> you, you know, but it's a documentary well, about mean, how I. I mean, no, close what? out the show. Go ahead. Well, say say something. It's a sex doc. That's what they call it. Yeah, yeah. Sex, sex doc. doc. <laughs> yeah, I got. I got. Yeah, sex it's doc. That's like a new It's on his pants. It's on his pants. Shitty bacon. Shitty. It's like Quibi, but that's pretty. Look, it's like. Does anybody know what's happening? Nope. It only was like two minutes. This is where the beer is. There it is. There it is. It was under the YouTube threshold. I couldn't even. Cam, you want to close the show out? Yeah. Well, I mean, I got distracted. There was a, like a really hot girl walking behind you, and like for the past like five minutes, I was paying attention to her. You know what I mean? Hey, she my like cheeks. No. She loves me. But yeah, you know what I mean. Ag one, you know, we out here uh, being healthy, gut health was all good. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, we're being uh, healthy. We're being really us, healthy. You know what I mean? Great. South State Social House, South Chad. You know, we love it here. And hello, by the way, there's the girl. Hold on. Hey. Oh really? Hey, Actually, let's get those cheeks. Have her drop in. in. Like, hey, she, she came in. She was just there a second ago. Wait, my mom is on her way. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> well, I want to thank you guys so much. I mean, it's it's great. Bob, you, your timing was amazing. That was amazing. CJ, mm -hmm. your story. Marco, it's, I mean, come on. It was so much fun. Yeah, thank you. Let, let's let's, you let's keep us. ascending. Let's keep ascending, let's keep dude. Ascending. Full put, sending. Full sending, dude. We're going to put this year in our rearview mirror and fucking kick ass in That's 2023. Right. By the way, a couple things to put out there. If you're not going home, uh, Christmas Eve is Eagles Dallas. That's a big one for me. And I don't know what I'm going to do for New Year's Eve, but I'm going to blow it the fuck out because this year fucking <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Let's go. So stay a close. A party at State Social hey, House? It could happen. Oh Quick side question. So you're doing sober from New Year's Day to uh, St. Patrick's Day, correct? Correct. At midnight on New Year's Eve, do you stop drinking? No, I steer no. right into day. No, so if you stay up all night, if you stayed up all January night, where's the cutoff? January. Until you go to bed? No, no, no. I, I drink all into day one. Yeah, like, we oh. round up. We round up. Okay. <laughs> no, no, because in Philly, Mummer's Day is bigger than New Year's Eve. That's right. She's and not got to so play. much fun. Mummer's Day. Would yes, you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> no, Mummer's Day is May, the first weekend of May, right? No. Oh, what is no. Mummer's Day? It's Mother's Day. Fuck. No, oh. moving forward. Okay. <laughs> if, if, plus, Christmas falls on a Saturday into Sunday. I can tell you this, speaking about football, uh, for the first time, the NFL is going to have games on Christmas Day. Oh, boy. Yep. And it's the Rams Broncos. Oh, so boy. Somebody oh, will really? be so fly drunk. And is it you? So is pissing him out. Might piss my pants. <laughs> There's a call up two. Call up your tailor. Make sure that he gets piss out of pants too. Yeah, right on okay, Robertson. One get piss out of pants. <laughs> <laughs> or is he just shit stains? Just shit stains. <laughs> right. I know they like well, to specialize obviously here. Obviously, he in LA. didn't get the shit stains out. So. <laughs> Dude, it was the worst ever. I'm like, hey, one. Uh, I'll be right back. Juan, I don't think these were clean. <laughs> I thought I had okay, it. wait. He's like, Sam, Tim, just Tim, you know you me. should probably just buy dark underwear. We should well, we really. So. But this is the inner lining bathing yeah. suit. It's like a weird thing. It was like up, it was like it's up my ass. It's, it's mesh. mesh. That's a new it's invention. Mesh. Black inner lining of bathing suits because it's always white. Why is it white? Like, dude, we got to create that. Oh, look, copyright that too. <laughs> copyright <laughs> that and OnlyPans. We do have, pen. though, we have to plug because it should air like right before it. Okay. Snow Day LA. Snow Day LA. Ooh, what's up? Purple Banter. Yep. Yeah, get this, get this, LJ. Okay. Snow Day LA. It's going to be a state social house this 18th, December 18th, 17th, 17th, December 17th. Um, Rose, day drinking. Tim might be singing. Ooh. Tim is singing. Ooh. Happy holidays, yeah. us. Uh, man, that's an I forgot. So we need all of us northern people <laughs> to pull out our snow gear. I want like the best opera ski. You can wear that sweatshirt. Yeah. What's happening? Like it's going that. down. Do we that. do have that one girl coming up here right now. I requested her. Um, let's see those cheeks. Let's see those cheeks. That's all I wanted to say. It's, oh, she's up Mom, right get now. up here. Mom, <laughs> double cheeked up on a Tuesday. Future wife. She's Tuesday. Up here in I already moment. finished two Miller Life. Is Anybody going to? I know. I'm going to keep drinking now. You yeah. know I couldn't. I lied to myself. Start the train. You can't I'm stop trying, it. I'm actually trying to not drink. I'm actually trying to not drink um, until Christmas, by the way, and do my best. Okay. But that's all No, right. you got to snow to LA. I, I support it. I'm not doing it, but I support it. We'll we'll make up for you. Okay. 
that. You want to be on the show? Watching you Hold on, you want to be on the show? Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'll keep dancing <laughs> on my own. <laughs> we appreciate you. It wasn't my mom. Uh, she was great. His mom is uh, hot, though. I, Shout I, out I mean, to How do we get off? Are these subscriber. microphones magnets? I can't stop talking. I can't stop talking. I can't stop eating this pizza from Sarah. Okay, I love you. Yeah, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go pee so I don't pee my pants. Yeah, yeah. Nah, we're gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> do we get Do we get to keep the mics or how's yeah, it? Yeah, wow. yeah. Okay. Pisser, All right. pisser. All right, that's it. We got. Do we thank everybody? We thanked everybody. CJ, Margo, we got everybody. All right, we well, why, why don't you sing us off with a few rock bars? Yeah. Uh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Christmas. <laughs>